these fields I can feel the silent shudder of my father's realizations. Past and gone, and ash and dry, this is a worthless land with an abundance of Nyla's cravings. I feed them happily. I return months after the hospitalized interment of my mother to see how many nails this coffin land needs. I'd pound each into the brackish earth, but an offer has come in. A giant hammer of commerce that aims to spread a blanket of concrete, one grave on another. Yet a hesitancy remains, an amalgamation of my persistent inability to make permanent choices, and a foolish nostalgia for those few good days spent here, spent on friendships decayed by time, worn away by an O2-gentle entrance into adulthood. Also, my cat has a sinus infection. My father and I built this barn. The pain enters my chest, low and cold. I want to yell, to scream, but there is no fuel to put in that furnace. Only a voice soaked in thick, flammable self-judgment. What am I doing here? How much bile of pity can this body produce? Why do I ingest it so? Will Sergeant Blanket Cuddles be okay? My cat's name is Sergeant Blanket Cuddles. He's got a sinus infection. Well aware of the symbiosis between this land and myself, I want nothing more than to tear myself away from it. To have the strength to rip and chew this brittle sinew in one savage act. But I know myself enough to be able to predict I will instead meander, waiting until the moment where a decision must absolutely be made. agony that will define my days until action is required. Cat has a sinus infection. My cat has a sinus infection. My cat has a sinus infection. My cat has a sinus infection. <laughs>